I like how there's already people saying first in the chat when they're blatantly not first. But, yep, yeah, we're going to stream some Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. And this is basically Mountain Blade of Guns, which seems quite fun. Uh, yeah, the streams always seem um, laggy because they obviously have to process. Yeah, um, that's the stupid thing with this. Everybody thinks it's Half-Life 2, but it has nothing to do with Gordon Freeman. Right, cool then. So, let me load my game up and carry on. So, if you're familiar with Mountain Blade, you'll know what this is, basically. Oh yeah, Calvin Hatch is cool. I keep meaning to go there. They may... Uh, have you played that game called The Bunker? Because they filmed all the scenes from that there. Oh, thank you very much, Sam. That's very kind of you. I'll stream Mountain Blade at some point. Today I'm going to stream this, but yeah, I've got uh, Warband installed so I can uh, play Mountain Blade and I could probably stream mods for that as well. How do you mean, can I attach two gas masks via hose and put a hole in the hose for filter? Hello, right, cool. Anyway, let's, um... Start this. So, if you're familiar with how Mountain Blade operates, you'll kind of understand this. You walk around on the map of your party, you sort of conquer towns and everything, and do everything like that. Now, I've already kind of run out all the bandits and everything else for the most part. Actually, there's some marauders there, so let's go and kill those. So, what I'm going to have to do is actually start attacking the factions soon, where everything could just kind of screw me over. Uh, I'm not playing Siege today. But the interesting thing is, compared to Mountain Blade, you've actually kind of got a map in this, so... Right, how many squads can I deploy? Seven, so I might as well deploy all my snipers. And then I'll keep the MG section as, as a reserve, so I'll just deploy all of these now. Basically, I found out in this that um, the snipers are stupidly overpowered. So, I've just been mostly using this. I think it's like 12 or 13 quid on Steam. 13 pounds. Uh, I haven't seen a gas mask in the game, though. Right, so basically I could come into contact at any point with enemies because it's like Mountain Blade where they spawn on the map and then they all start sort of looking around. Target spotted. But what ends up happening a lot of the time is just the AI kill each other. My FPS isn't great at the moment, I think it's partially because I'm streaming that sort of kills some of the FPS, I don't know when it's a night battle, it's worse than the daytime one. So at the moment it's in cinematic FPS, but it's only about 20. Yeah, combat-wise it's a bit like armor, but like map-wise it's Mountain Blade and how the main game works. I don't know if it's quite as realistic as armor, but um, yeah, I mean it's a bit like armor as well, where it's hard to see people quite often.
but already my good snipers are decimating the enemy troops without me doing really anything. Right, while I sit and camp behind a tree, I'll see what you're saying in chat. Which Swiss gas mask? If you mean things like the SM67, no, it's not. Uh, no, I don't want to support the developers for um, player names at the grounds because they um, have done some really dodgy stuff. Uh, the comics guy, I have no idea what mask that would be. Uh, are you on about an NBC suit or an actual mask? Without actually doing anything, we win. So, uh, take all that. I think there's been an update since I last played this. Oh, and my chat's disappeared on my phone. There we go. So in a minute I'll try and attack a town that will probably go horribly. I guess that town with 53 defenders in is a better bet for me to attack. The only issue is that I think the side that has that town has a lot more troops overall. And again I can't see the chat because my phone keeps wanting to move the thing around. Uh, totally depends on the NBC suit but most are designed for people around 6 feet in height. When you say an artillery Russian gas mask, which one do you mean? Do you mean like the MM1? Right, there's a town over there that's only got 35 defenders in, so let's go all the way over to that one over there and try and attack that one. Yeah, the MM1 I prefer to the GP5. I mean, the SHMF is my favourite of the um, Soviet masks. I assume it's the present because you get kind of AK-74s and stuff like that. Um, but again, it's in some, I think, fictional country where there's a civil war going on. Uh, I've done a video already called My Cheek Filter Gas Mask Collection, which is basically all the M17 clones. But I don't have two lots of, um, there's, yeah, there's like, I think there's a Japanese M17 clone, and it might be in like a South Korean one, but I don't have those, but there's even more. I think this game's like £13 on Steam. If you look on Steam for Freeman Guerrilla Warfare, you'll be able to see the store page in whatever country you're in. Uh, the CT-12 is my favourite mask, which I get asked over and over and over again, <laughs> and it's always the same mask that I answer with. 
Right, okay, let's attack um, Kalinovka. And hopefully I can do this all right. Okay, so I'm in that deployment zone down here. Um, well, my favourite British gas mask would be the Avon CT-12, because it is a British gas mask, so... <laughs> right, I'll deploy some snipers, but I'll also deploy that machine gun team, and I'll deploy the looters here to start with. I'll put everybody on this hill. And then I can transfer the teams around as need be. I'm in a position. I mean, it depends what you want to display, doesn't it? I mean, you can get some cheap old masks if you don't intend to wear them that look cool, like the Swedish folk gas masks and things like that. But go, go, go! Copy that. Move out. Let's just move everybody forward. Um, in terms of cheapness to make, yes. In terms of actual accuracy of the rifle and things like that, no. Uh, well, I just die is the answer to that. By. Anyway, I'm going to actually have to concentrate on the game for now. So if you're typing stuff in the chat, I'm probably not going to see it until after this assault ends. So I'm outnumbered by only about 13, 12 troops. But... Um, I should be able to pull this off alright, because I've got reserves that I can move in if I retreat troops that are already on the field. Yeah, I mean, AK-74s are really cool, especially the more modern ones. Um, but I assume when people say AK-47, they just literally mean, probably, they actually probably mean AKM when they say that, rather than actually AK-47. I'm instantly dead. Right, well what I have to do is load up the old game because otherwise I'm doomed. I think any amount of masks, if you have more than one, would probably count as a collection. Right, okay, so let's not attack this town with 32 men yet, because they obviously have very good equipment there. And maybe it's not very good to move snipers over that ridge, I don't know. No, don't use the filter for GP5, get Polish FB5 filters for it. Uh, 
Right, let's just find ar armored marauders. They might be a bit more of a challenge then. Right, it seems I have the high ground, so... Deploy all these guys to start with. <coughs> Depends what year the German NATO filter's from. Any expired filter isn't going to work. Or not work properly, anyway. I don't actually have any real bar options apart from the Enfield, but Lee Enfield would be my favourite. Uh, no, the GP4 is not better than the GP5. It doesn't actually have a peripheral seal, so you'd have to get one in the exact size to fit your head. And it has a horrible strap system. Uh, the GP5 is literally an improvement every way and it's cheaper for the Soviets to make. Right, okay, I'm assuming at some point the enemy troops will try and engage me. I might as well keep the high ground because I've got that for my snipers. I might send the machine gun team forwards. The en Enfield is just the name of the company that made it. Lee Enfield was... I think it was because there was a Lee something or other, which was another... It might be Lee Metford, which was the other company, and it was kind of a joint combined rifle, so it's called the Lee Enfield, because it's taking like the names of the two companies that made it. move some more of the troops forwards because not much is happening at the moment. Thanks for the offer but I'm not really interested in getting any more respirators for a while just because I've got 70 odd something in my collection and I need to start kind of clearing out space more if I get more because at the moment they're just kind of in there's trip hazards laying around everywhere. Uh, Springfield was slightly higher velocity, 30 yacht 6 was probably the better cartridge, but the Enfield was great because it was really fast to cycle it because of how the bolt works on it.
Um, the GP5 doesn't randomly mount, so I'd say the Yugoslavian M1 is probably a worse mouse than the GP5. as a clipping issue of the rock. No, it costs thirteen pounds. Roughly, I think. Hey, glad you enjoyed the videos. Yeah, the problem is with this is obviously, like when I was streaming Stalker, you kind of find it's hard to actually concentrate on both the chat and the game at the same time. And annoyingly, um, like the, my phone keeps going into screensaver mode, so I ought to try and alter that next time I stream to not turn off so I can just keep viewing the chat.
Glad you enjoyed the video. Right. I think the last of them were in those trees over there somewhere. Right, let me check the chat again because my screen turned off again. Uh, I went to Greece years ago, actually. Or at least roads. Yeah, um, but that was, yeah, years ago, probably like 10 plus years ago, I think. Some of the stuff I don't need. Don't need this moat. Should actually so I'll sell off a load of the bread. No, somebody was saying about, I don't know if it was you about Calvin and Hatch earlier, but I haven't actually been to those. Uh, in Dover Castle, interestingly enough, they have, um, uh, like the wartime nuclear tunnels there, but the interesting thing was they dug those out, then realised the chalk of the cliffs didn't actually stop gamma radiation and abandoned them, so they built a massive nuclear bunker there only to realise it was useless. If I can afford it, I'll get some more troops, then I might be able to do a better job attacking that town. Right, how much is it to get all of these guys? Right, let's try attacking this town again now I've got some more troops and see if that goes any better. No, oh, I'm getting under sieged in one of my towns, so let me go and investigate that first. Hundred and fifty six men attacking that town. Okay, this is going to be a fairly big fight. Oh, 
Oh, did I repel the attack because the message saying the town was under attack has gone away? Uh, no, I do not recommend buying a gas mask of cheek filters. Um, I assume you've probably seen my videos on those where I uh, end up saying no, 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 don't get cheek filters because the filters are all out of date and, um, you know, no longer are made and they're a pain to get in the mask and they don't last very long once they're in the masks. Alright, let's see how this goes then. Actually, I could be a bit sneaky, couldn't I? I could hire some mercenaries from them first and then attack them. And of course, the screen on my phone's turned off again. Uh, the Forshida mask is cool, um, but um, yeah, it depends how much you're gonna pay for it. Because where everybody advertises that as a new gas mask, it's really not new at all. Um, they're from the nineties, um, but. For whatever reason, all the surplus stores that got it in, um, sort of were told by their suppliers, I guess, that it was newer than it actually was. And they didn't check the dates on the masks themselves. Get into position. And Bart, the most Chad gas mask is probably the S10. It's not up yet, but I did a video of the S10 the other day where I actually tested it with both the outserts and the, um like normal lenses, and you can aim a rifle with it just fine, unlike the, um, what's it, GSR? Understood. Yeah, I'll do another Q&A at some point. Um, I've got a Q&A video that I'm meant to be doing at some point. The issue is I haven't actually received enough questions for it. And as I've said before, people need to leave the questions as comments on normal videos so I can copy and paste them in, not just say them in a live chat where I won't see the message. Right, annoyingly, it's a bit hard to control some of these troops from under the hill. But there we go, I'll just use the keyboard shortcuts for them. That town's actually quite far away on the, from the deployment zone on this one. Alright, I might as well send the snipers all around the outside. And I'm dead again. Uh, I think this game has the problem that Mountain Blade Fire and Sword has, if you've played that. I don't want to save the current game, do I? Oh, and I've screwed the game up now by trying to open too many things at once.
Right, let's restart the game. Yeah, I've done that bit. The video's not up yet. Uh, no, I don't think I've seen that guy's videos. I mean, I've seen lots of videos of urban exploration from old Soviet kind of Warsaw Pact places where they go into a bunker and then just find crates and crates of GP5s everywhere. Because they did make like a hundred million of those masks. But yeah, I'm I'm hoping this doesn't have the problem um, that Fire and Sword has, but it kind of seems to, unless it's just I need to get a really good helmet. Where the problem with Mountain Blade, Fire and Sword is because they put guns in, once the enemies get good enough at shooting the guns, they just aimbot with you of them, and there's nothing you can do. Because um, when you're fighting bandits and things in this, this is quite fun because they're not that accurate, but it seems when you start fighting other um, proper AIs, it seems like they can just shoot you at like 400 yards away. Um, I don't think either Soviet World War II or German World War II masks are any good. Um, the Soviet mask seems to be the BNT-4, but I can barely find out any information about it. It was around the end of World War II where they went to the SHM-1. Uh, the SHM masks obviously were what later turned into the GP-5 series. Um, the Germans had the awful GM-30 and they had the GM-37, which was okay, I guess, but the issue was Nazi Germany didn't have enough rubber to actually make masks. Well, if I could get a ballistic helmet that actually had a visor on, then the ballistic helmet with a visor would be better. But I've only got a riot helmet that actually has the visor on it. Target eliminated. I'd really like one of those Spetsnaz helmets, but sadly, um, good luck finding one of those for a sensible amount of money. Visual on the target. Standing by. I like wagon wheels, but... Barely anywhere seems to sell wagon wheels anymore. The jammy wagon wheels. Thanks, Makolo.
Uh, they actually, what's it called? That um, B and M's, is it? The sur uh, not sur plus, I'm sorry, sur the really cheap store. Um, do do the jammy wagon wheels, but there's not many places that um, sell them. Uh, I haven't really got plans on setting up a PO box anytime soon, especially because I don't have room for all the stuff I have. very vaguely. Um, I was speaking to somebody about this at the Blue Cross because we had one of the towels down there for the rabbits um, and it was one of these old sports towels and they came and you had a token for some, well it came with some yogurts and they were like these round yogurts in a dish that was shaped like a donut thing with a hole in the middle and it had a toy in the middle like a kinder surprise. But I have no idea uh, what those yogurts were actually called, I can just vaguely remember them. Let's fight some U-Man terrorist or U-Man terrorist. <laughs> well, not really, because the whole ICBM thing is that you can have the Mervs um, on them, whereas SAR Bomber was really impractical to even drop. Because with SAR Bomber, they had to uh, drop it from a stupid height, put a parachute on it to slow it down before air detonating it, so the plane could actually get away before being destroyed by the bomb. Relationship with Uman Brotherhood decreased. Oh no. I did do a video where I complained about that because it seems stupid that you can buy uh, replica firearms under lots of other rules, but with airsoft ones you can't until you get a Ucara for them. Target eliminated. 
As far as I'm aware, Ricketts actually is going to start getting worse in this country because they want to try and ban the sale of all knives online um, that aren't kitchen knives uh, because people get stabbed despite kitchen knives being used in nearly every stabbing ever. You see, if I wanted loads and loads and loads of views on YouTube, what I'd have to do is just make clickbait and not actually make good content. Because that's the problem with sites like YouTube, is most people uh, just want to view clickbait, or they can't stop clicking on clickbait. So I'd have to make, uh, honestly, like, distruthful titles about my videos, which I'm not going to do. you won't believe for a clickbait video. Surplus sellers hate him, learn this man's trick to avoid paying too much for a gas mask. There's a load of them on that hill. Oh yeah, there they are. I like that these guys wear red shirts. It makes them really easy to see. Alright, that's the last of them that are actually alive over there. So, get all my units to cut them off. It's not like actually selling the knives is illegal. They want to do loads of stupid rules regarding ID for it. Um, so basically it's going to be like if you wanted to order a knife online, the company selling it would not uh, would actually have to send somebody to your door to check that you uh, are 18 when you sign for the knife. Um, but the problem is that massively increases the cost of postage and it will just put people off buying them. But that isn't a law they've actually passed yet, and hopefully it won't happen, but it is completely stupid. Maybe I should play through Fear at some point. I've got it in my Steam library and still haven't got round to playing it. 
It wasn't too long ago I replayed through all the Half-Life 2 things and then I just get annoyed that Valve are never going to make another Half-Life game. Oh, I think I can upgrade my guy, can't I? Okay, um, let's give myself more vitality so I've got more health. Okay, I better equip some more ammo. What I should do is probably buy a better helmet, seeing as those guys were sniping me in the head on non-stop. Yeah, that's why not too long ago I bought a load of a load more knives, just because it's just ridiculous, the idea that you might not be able to actually buy knives online soon if they tampered the rules. And that's the problem with the rules for buying air guns online, is unless you have it delivered to a gun shop, you can't have it delivered to a, your door unless the company selling it will ID check you at your door, but that means they add like £30 onto the postage price. Um, and it's the reason I haven't been able to get a Daisy Red Rider because I've not found any gun shops that are actually stocking it. Um, but I'm not going to pay like an extra 30, 40 quid uh, on top of the price of the gun to have somebody, you know, come to my door to actually check my uh, passport or driving license before actually delivering it. Right, can I afford a better helmet? No, I could afford both an assault vest and a uh, crew member helmet. Oh, dragon skin body armor, 7731. Well, I might as well buy that and a helmet. So that would be 12477, quite expensive, but that's like top tier equipment, I take it. So let's put that on. I can't wear both the vest and the armour. That's a bit annoying. Well, I guess the armour, dragon skin armour, is much better than that vest, so... Can I wear my flak jacket back on top of that? Or is it the... other one. Blue army jacket that goes on top. Right, okay, that goes on top. Trade all that back again. Uh, no, I've not really had any intentions of reviewing old uniforms. I've done a review now for MTP Camouflage, but the video's not up yet. Because um, where I've been doing camo tests, the MTP camo always works really, really well. So, I finally got round to doing a review on that. No, I know these have medkits here. Well, right now I've got good gear. Let's engage in combat again and see how much better this good gear is. Uh, yeah, this F-35 is a stupid thing to buy. It's again military-industrial complex, uh, basically just money laundering. As they abandoned the Eurofighter project, despite the fact lots of British jobs reside on that, but again, making people unemployed in this country uh, for the sake of bribes is pretty much common practice now. Uh, because if it's Nazi gear, then Nazi gear is really popular and people pay through the nose for it. Uh, that's the same reason I haven't got really any um, World War II German deactivated things, just because the prices for them is absurd.
Oh, the new Half in the Bag episodes out. I'll end up watching that in a bit. Yeah, I'll only be doing the stream for a few more minutes because it's nearly 8pm here and I've got other stuff I want to do. Uh, I don't really want to stream story modes on games because I don't really want to keep streaming the same games over and over and over. And because the story in Call of Pripyat takes like 10 hours to complete or so. Um, I don't really want to actually do that for a video. I might play some random levels from Half-Life 2 at some point. But then if, I uh, if I stream Stalker it will be Call of Chernobyl just because you can mess about with it for like an hour. Uh, yeah, I've played Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, the other Fallout game nobody likes. Is it Brotherhood of Steel? Uh, Fallout Tactics, whatever it was called. Um, New Vegas and Fallout 4. The only Fallout game I really like is New Vegas, to be honest. I'm all the way over here and nothing's happening over here apparently. I think next time when I stream something though I might just stream regular Mountain Blade. Because um Everybody likes Mountain Blade. Enemy engaged. Clear. Target in range. Rebel shot. Engaging target. I don't think the Soviet Union is going to come back, to be honest. But they probably just ruined their own economy again, you know, being a communist nation. Uh, yeah, I have like uh, a few hundred hours in Gmod according to Steam statistics. Um, I'd like to play Zombie Master again, but I don't think enough people actually play it to be able to get on the server with people to play that if you ever played the mod Zombie Master. That's great. Right, let's do one more battle and then I'll wrap this stream up. But yeah, Gmod might be fun to stream at some point. Or just regular Half-Life 2. Or Mountain Blade regular. Uh, nearly all gas masks have ear holes, apart from the Soviet hood ones, apart from the GP5M. Because NATO masks normally always have the ears free so you can hear. Because in a chemical attack, you'd be wearing an NBC suit with the mask anyway, so it wouldn't matter. I wonder if there's some of those guys wearing orange, uh, sort of the red-orange shirts again, because they're quite easy to fight, as they are really obvious.
Oh, I'm nearly out of food, so I guess I better uh, I guess I better go to a town and buy some more food. I guess since the patch, uh, your guys eat more or something. Well, yeah, they probably should arrest you for saying that, seeing as the guy that recently shot up a school had repeatedly said, I'm going to shoot up a school, and they didn't do anything, and then, oh, look, he shot up a school. Let's make this last battle. Um, well, I was thinking about getting Escape from Tarkov, but the developers have made it a uh, pay to win, so I won't be supporting that game at all.
Right, there we go. So now that's about one that will probably be it for me playing this for tonight. Uh, but yeah, if you like Mountain Blade, you'll probably like this. Um, it has some of the problems that Mountain Blade can have, like sometimes enemies can aimbot you from across the map. But as long as you save scum enough, that's not really a problem, like Mountain Blade. Um, but yeah, this is still an early access game, so I wouldn't expect too much from it from now. But yeah, for 13 quid, I've had a lot of fun in this game so far. But yeah, so as I was saying, if you're interested in this game, it's on Steam and it's worth getting. But yeah, maybe next time I'll stream traditional Mountain Blade Warband, seeing as everybody likes it. So see you all.